Doctor Who Time Reaper, which is the second story inside the first volume of the big finish Doctor Who the, Ti uh, the Ten Doctors Adventures. And this, this episode, this story, this is a really, this is better than the first one. The first one, and maybe it was just me getting used to, you know, all your dramas and how it works and that kind of thing. But this one just felt more fluent, more easy to follow. Except, the, except when you hit, like, the climax when they try to do the whole action sequence through action sequence through dialogue and it's just one of those situations where you're like wait okay Donna's here but and then the doctor shows up and then the creature wait 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 hold, 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 time out time out what's happening um and the the villain's death is bloody lengthy the villain's death is fucking lengthy he, he, you know he's about to get blow up but he's like oh, I can't move I can't move. I can feel the flames. I can feel the flames. And it's like, yeah. That for like two minutes. And you're like, Jesus fucking died. But the width of this episode is fantastic. Um, absolutely fantastic. And there's not a Nine Doctor reference hinting, you know, wink, wink next year. But. But. What this story is all about is a crime boss capturing uh, is uh, has this girl captured because of these weapons named Time Weapons essentially traps you in time. Like you're you know you're having in this you're reliving this life you're reliving this memory, but actually reality just like slowly starving to death, and it's weird. And this crime boss is is. Just, Keeping this girl hatred, trying to do, capture that, having this lost and found situation of him like, oh, you're ass, I'm here to fight. And it's tentacle, so it's weird. When he's on, when he's on swing, but he, when he's on the track, he becomes a fuck, it becomes a horror movie. Because they really, like, you know, they're getting really icky with the sound effects with the tentacles and, and all that, and... How he talks and this like screaming and like yelling and people in pain and torture and all that. You're like, okay, <laughs> okay, this is this is a horror movie. And and then you have the Doctor and Donna, basically be the light side of it. And you know the Doctor's Donna is it's great. It's 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 great. It's Wonderful. I mean, it's you know David Tennant and Catherine Tate, you know, on you know playing these characters. So it just feels very ease and smiling. I mean, at the end, like spoiler, alert, there's a part where he's like, you know, well, where are sp sp uh, I, can't, I can't do a David Tennant, but where are sp space buccaneers are going? You're not a space buccaneer. I, th I think I'm going to air with a space buccaneer. You're t you're a primary school teacher. Of a space fucking year. <laughs> it's like you got that nice bickering. But this one kind of did feel like more of the show. Um, where, you know, there's certain lines that, like, you could feel would be said in the episode and, and certain things. Even if it's, you know, simply him saying, hello, I'm the doctor. Like, outside of that. I think I just made the Doctor American, didn't I? <laughs> I, I think I just did. But that's where we're, it's just the playing is like the third act where it kind of gets a bit like jumbled. But you know, there's a lot of heart into it. There's a lot of depth towards it. There's a lot of um, uh, just because you're having families and 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 fathers and daughters and and that kind of thing, it's handy really well, and there is an like emotional hook uh, when some, certain events happen. Um, it's just really well put together.